Hi guys, welcome back. So validate scope is be your formalizing the acceptance criteria. You define what a complete product will look like. It is performed throughout the project and then you discuss and display the completed project uh, or rather deliverable uh, to the stakeholders. By having a clear definition of a complete project, you avoid any confusion and debate conflict at a later stage. So it's very important and to perform this activity, uh, which is part of the manage scope knowledge area in the project management. Here we have the input output diagram and like most other uh, processes within this knowledge area, uh, we have project management plan uh, and the project documents as input here. Uh, all these documents which are mentioned within these two, like a scope management plan, a requirement management plan, scope baseline, uh, lesson learned register, quality reports, requirement documentation, requirement traceability matrix, um, they all are um, serving the purpose of input here. And then of course we have the verified deliverables and work performance data. Um, tools and techniques are inspection because we need to see and inspect the deliverables. And then decision making is usually the voting here. Um, the output are accepted deliverables, work performance information, change request, project document updates, um, like lesson learned register, requirement documentation, and traceability matrix. Then we have uh, its application, which is, um, it is basically used for closing a project or phase, and then performing the integrated change control, monitor and control project work uh, is also uh, one applied area here. Then we have the project document updates like lesson learned register, requirement documentation and traceability matrix. And as we are dealing uh, with the validate scope, uh, it's important to pay attention here that this is scope uh, which is defining the deliverable here is eventually used later for the closing the project or you know changing or managing the change control or monitor and controlling the project work. So it's very important to validate and have this definition at place before you continue with the rest of the activities. So that's it for now. Thank you.